In the beginning, there was the forest. The forest covered all the land, and the land became alive with the creatures of the forest. Everything that lived was part of the forest, and each being knew that the forest was not complete without every one of them. The people also belonged to the forest. There was nothing within the forest which was hidden from them, and nothing of the people which was not also part of the forest. But then the people found a small clearing in one part of the forest, and they camped there. Then, after a while, they began to say to each other, This is not part of the forest, this is our own place, and it is different from the rest of the forest. We will make it bigger and better for us than the forest itself. It will be unlike everything else, because it will be ours. The people made the clearing bigger and better, and after a while, it began to be separate from the, re from the rest of the forest. Different things happened there. Different plants grew there, and no animals came except the animals which were attached to the people. The creatures of the forest saw that the clearing was not for them. They began to be afraid and avoid the mystery that lay within. And the people in the clearing began to see that the forest was different from their clearing, and that creatures unlike them dwelt within it. They began to be afraid, and avoided the mystery that lay within. They became so filled with fear, that eventually they built a high wall around the clearing, and they made a strong gate in the wall, and they prepared weapons to defend themselves against the world that lay outside. But the creatures of the forest did not understand. They saw the people locked in behind high walls. They saw them imprisoned by the stout gate. They saw the weapons that prevented anyone passing out of the enclosure into the free living world. They were filled with compassion and said, it is true the people have been foolish and afraid. It is true they have brought this fate upon themselves. But clearly it has made them very unhappy. And it is not right that any being should not know happiness when it stays for a little while in this world. So they consulted together. And they decided that they would bring the people within the clearing a great gift which would make them happy until the end of time. They created a gift which would break down the imprisoning walls and reduce them to rubble so that the people could be free. When they were ready, they approached the high walls around the clearing and stood before the stout gate. They called out to the people within, We have brought you a gift, a gift out of the heart of the forest that will break down your walls and make you happy, and you will be free forever. The people within were terrified when they heard of the threat to break down the walls that protected them from the danger of the world, and they cried out, No, we do not want your gift. We put our trust in our stout walls, and we will not let you break them down. We are safe here from the forest, and we do not know you any more. You are a danger to us, and we will not allow you even to exist. The beings of the forest looked at each other and said, They are wrong, but we can see that they are unhappy, and we know that in their hearts they are longing to be free. Do we ignore their words and bring them their gift? Or do we melt away in the shadows and leave them to their chosen death in life? Some thought they should do one thing and some another, and they debated for a long time. Meanwhile, the people inside the walls were busy, strengthening their defenses and sharpening their weapons against the world. But at last, just as the sun was setting, a decision was made. 
the beings of the forest took out the gifts which they had they had brought and they formed a procession and began to move in a slow cycle circle to tread moonwise in a ring around the stockade twice they circled the wall and the people stood at their defenses and watched them silently with much fear and mus misgiving when the third slow circle was completed the beings of the forest took the gifts which they had brought they began to pluck the strings blow the horns beat the drums to sing and to chant and to dance with all the strength that was in them they danced around the walls and made the first music that was ever heard in the world the music reached right in over the walls the gate had no power against it and the weapons of violence could not keep it out. The walls around the clearing were flung down. The gate was broken open. The weapons dismantled. And the people came out and joined with the beings of the forest and made music. And since that day, through stockades have been built and defended. And weapons have been forged and wielded. And the gates have been closed against the wilderness. There has never ceased to be music in the world.